All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Are right, you ready? You ready? Well, it's always great to be back in this MMA hotbed as we get underway here at the Junes Arena in Rio de Janeiro. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Edgar gets tagged by the kick there. He couldn't have liked that too much, Joe. Straight right is there. Big punch. And there he swung with a haymaker. Good defense there. Edgar gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Edgar gets the single leg takedown. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Beautiful punch. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Really swung for the fences with that hook. The missing it, man. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Nice punch by Edgar. Well, that kick landed at the bottom. Beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Oh, that's a clean left right there, Joe. Went for the inside leg kick. Under two minutes now to go. Flips the shot. Now he goes for the single leg. God, look at that takedown, man. Secures north-south position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Trying to spin to the back. One minute. Good punch. In half guard here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's back up to his feet. Just misses with the jab there. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Just out of range with the big right hand. He lands the head kick. round you'll ever see, but good high-level action on both sides. Both fighters have their moments. We'll see, though, here in round two if there is less of a feeling out process and more of an uptick in the aggression here. Round two underway. He got tagged there. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Oh, very nice. here from Bar. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw off that. Staying busy here. You like to see that, Joe. And he's up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect, Joe, on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Joe, he missed with that straight right attempt. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. All right, so he takes him down yet again with relative ease, so that's his first takedown of this round. Certainly realized a lot of success with it in the previous round. Now we'll see what he can do with it. 
Tagged him. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. 
Declare the winner by split decision. Frankie the Well, what else can be said about Frankie the Answer Edgar as he gets his hand raised yet again here tonight? This is a guy who is entering Chuck the Iceman Liddell territory in terms of just how beloved he is by his fellow fighters and fans alike. Another seminal moment in a career full of them for Frankie Edgar tonight. All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Brad Tavares and smiling Sam Alvey. Ready to fight? Ready. Well, good to be back in Rio as we get underway here at the Juness Arena, right in the heart of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Nice inside leg kick. Good body shot. Oh, there's a big overhand. Oh, good power left kick. Oh, nice punch there by Brad Tavares. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Tavares gets caught by the inside leg. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. And he connects there, Joe. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Look at that, he's timing that jab. Trying to establish that jab once again. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at that, nice. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Nice punch there by Smiling Sam Allen. Tags him. Huge uppercut misses. Nice punch there by Tavares. Oh, big shot. Fainting. Nice straight punch there. Good punch. 90 seconds to go. Strike there by the Hawaiian Brad Tavares. Misses with the right hand. Oh, huge block. Both men landing in that exchange. Nice jab. 45 seconds remain in the round. So we crossed the 30 second mark in our opening round. He's wobbly. Final seconds to round one. Watch the shot here, Joe. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Round two here. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. How about that shin? Nice inside leg kick. Just misses there with the left. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. Smiling Sam Alvey gets caught with that punch. Tavares trying to establish that jab early. Oh, he 
left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Try to establish that jab. Effective punch there. Whoa! Whoa! This could be it. He hurt him with that hook. Nice right hand. Body kick, look at that. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Oh, uppercut. Hand speed, man. Whenever you see a fighter's legs stiffen up like that, that's not a good sign. Oh, clipped him with the jab. Throwing that jab, no good. Under a minute now to go. Smiling Sam Alvey gets hit with a kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Yep. That was a nice jab. 20 seconds to go. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, nice jab to the head there by the Hawaiian Brad Tavares. And the horn sounds on round two. Third round on. Well, you gotta love this performance here tonight, Joe. He continues to land a high number of strikes just as he did in the previous round and seemingly not slowing down at all here tonight. Leg kick checked nicely by Tavares. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Wow. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Good straight left. Alvi gets stung by that leg kick. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Alvi gets caught by the inside leg. Oh, big shot. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. He just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe, and at least if his body language is any indication, he is not slowing down whatsoever. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. Under two minutes now to decide this one. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Left kick to the body. How about that shin? Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Alvin. One minute now to go in our third and final round. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, nice punch there by Smiling Sam Alf. 
20 seconds to go in the fight. Nice right hook. His lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. They go the 15-minute distance. What a fight. All right, so this one will go to a decision, and this one might receive some bonus money as well. Close fight. Both fighters went toe-to-toe -to -toe in the center of the octagon. A lot of significant strikes landed on both sides. We are very curious to see how the judges saw this one. Round three, some serious torque and power behind that leg kick. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' four cards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, smiling, Sam Alvin! All right, so there he is after what you could argue is the biggest win of his UFC career, and at least in terms of the performance, I think his skills have never looked better. And now I think you can start to picture him as a future contender type in this division. So we'll see what the matchmakers choose to do from here. Tonight, though, the celebration is on after he gets a big win by way of decision. All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between Alir Latifi and Vulcan Uzdemir. Here you go, first round, you ready? Are you ready? First All right, we are underway here at Juness Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Latifi. Now mixing one into the body. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. This is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Well, not a good look there, Joe, as he eats a shot to the body. It looks like he's becoming increasingly more vulnerable to that strike. Certainly left the body wide open on that one. Oh, spinning back this. He solved it right there. Very nice. Clips him with that uppercut. Just over three minutes to go round one. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Ustamir <laughs> gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. And lands the left there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Uzdemir gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by Alir Latif. 90 seconds now to go in the round. And here's a takedown. Now he's in guard. Good shot to the body. Switching stances here. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Thirty seconds. He hurt him. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Hey, Side control. Stop. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, round two. Nice 
punch by Ustamir. Beautiful jab. Beautiful jab. Sharp timing. Oh, that's a damaging strike there, Joe. Very good job of timing these shots here. Latifi gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it. No! He's got to be careful there. Don't rush in. Oh, very nice. Now a right hand. Ustamir's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. And he's looking for that left. They continue to exchange. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Alir Latif. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Nice. Latifi gets hit with a kick. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. He looks to improve position here. Latifi gets in the clinch. He's got double underhooks, Joe. And he pummels out of it. Hook in the clinch there is good by Uzdemir. Tying up in the clinch here. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. And again, he lands another takedown there. So really scoring points here, and the takedowns are starting to pile up. Taking this fight exactly where he thought he could and exactly where he wants it to be. Oh, strong punch there by Uzdemir. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, he connected with that right hand. Round three next. Now, starting off this round, he might score. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. He is hurt here. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. We show you the total oh, strike. Oh, Huge hand! He's stumbling. There's a nice inside leg kick. Oh, he might be out. Nice leg kick. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Yeah, look at that takedown, man. Bruce Demir's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Engaging in the clinch here, Joe. Latifi gets double on the hooks now. Good left hand. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Latifi gets caught with that punch. Man, I can watch this guy all day. He continues to land a high number of strikes just as he... Good right hand on the top. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He is stumbling. 
really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. All right, maybe another. Oh! oh he him. That hurt him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Now he's in full guard. Into half guard again. And very effective with the ground and pound. Inside control once again. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Ustami. Landing some big punches from this position. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Thing they had. And here's the end. <sighs> Round three. The legs buckle, and he's down. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest 29-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bokan, no time, who's the here? Well, what a moment for this young fighter here tonight as he gets the nod by way of decision. I thought both fighters had their moments in the fight, but in the end, he was the better fighter tonight and deserved to get the nod. And this is going to be a confidence builder for him moving forward, I would think, as well. I think his skills are starting to turn that proverbial corner, and we'll see if he can take his game to the next level as he moves forward here in the UFC. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. We are underway. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Just misses with the jab. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Ishihara. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Ishihara gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Tags him with the left. Good exchanges from both fighters. That landed. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, nice jab up top by Ishihara. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ishihara. Just misses with the jab there. Hit him hard with that hook. Let's go. Let's 
Under a minute now to go in round one. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. How about that shin? 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, that's a good strike there by Ishihara. 15 seconds to go. Lead left by Ishihara. Back and forth we go! Oh, Joe, that cut is getting worse. Made it all, looking nasty now. Five minutes in the books. All right, round two. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. He blocks the punch. He just landed an outstanding leg kick. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. He just tagged him with that uppercut. He's got to be careful not to run into things, though. Nice punch by Ishihara. Really missed with that right hand. Oh, good body kick. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Going out of the body with that hook well done there by Ishihara. He's got half guard. He's moved back to half guard. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here Not on the ground. potentially working on a submission instead. Big punch from the bottom. Ishihara's lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swell. Good shot to the head. Just over two minutes to go in round two. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Under two minutes now to go. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Good punch. Ishihara gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, he found the target there, that'll work. He got lit up. Ishihara gets caught by the inside leg kick. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Nice shot. Two rounds in the books. Third round underway. All right, so the next round is underway. A little bit of a feeling out process in that last round, but don't get me wrong, Joe. Both fighters had their moments, and this should be an absolutely great round here. Anybody's fight as we continue with this next round. Well, Joe, he seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Ishihara gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. These guys are swinging. Oh, misses with the jet. Oh, nice. Hand speed, man. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Absolutely. He's got the clinch. 
He pummels. Now he's got double underhooks. He's tying up in the clinch here. He pummels in. Now he's got double underhooks. He's got over and under here. He transitions to the tie clinch. He's got double underhooks here. Pummels under, maintains the under. And he moves onto his back. Petroleum looks for the choke, he drops down for it. That choke is deep. Wow. In full guard now. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Ishihara. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Ishihara's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. All right, then a left. under and out of double underhooks. He's got double underhooks. And now trying to take the back. All right, so this fight will go to a decision. We should have a clear winner in this one. You never know with those scorecards, of course, but in all likelihood, this will be a unanimous decision after a most dominant effort here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. Round three, this thunderous head kick finds its way through the guard. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, So there he is, your winner by way of decision. And Joe, I think he took his game to that requisite next level here tonight. He had a lot more eyeballs on him in this spot tonight, and I thought he really shined. You saw the matchmaker seemed happy with the performance, and let's see who they choose to match him up with next. Big win for him here tonight. Coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Platinum Mike Perry and Carlos Condit. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's go. We are underway. Opens up with a front kick. Tagged him. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Huge uppercut misses. There he goes, turning side kick. And this is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Almost hits him with that left hook. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. Caught him with a punch. They're certainly getting after it early. Clean, hard shot to the head with that hook. Looking for the left hook. Condit gets tagged by a solid uppercut. I don't have to tell you, Joe, about his toughness, but you can't absorb too many more of those uppercuts. Big oh, right hand. Oh! What a leg kick! Oh! Nice kick.
kick right there. Good body work with that hook by Condon. Yeah, he's getting lit up here. Side leg kick lands there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh! Condit's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. That's oh, a that big uppercut he just landed. Massive uppercut. Huge leg kick. Hard straight punch. Both guys landing with conviction now. Finds a home for that left hook. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Oh, straight right. That one hurt. Oh, nice jab there by Perry. Just out of range with that uppercut. Nice. In on a double leg takedown here. He might get a finish here. And he got out. Wow, that was a deep one. He's in full guard. And he eats a right hand there. This is a uh, classic rubber guard position here. In full guard here. Second uh, round, straight ahead. Here we are, early round two. All right, so here we go with round two. We'll see if these fighters get after it. You saw at the beginning of round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Entertaining round, don't get me wrong, but we will see here in round two if there's an uptick in the aggression on both sides. Nice straight right, Lance. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Nice outside leg kick there. Big punches. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in big, big trouble here. Oh, he might be out. Big straight punch. Under three minutes now to go here in round two. What a chin on Carlos Condit. Both guys landing in a pretty decent clip. Nice. Oh! Oh, you heard him. Oh, big left hook there. Hard left hand. Carlos Condit with some vicious body shots. Absolutely, Joe. Debilitating shots to the body. Just missed with the left there. Nicely done as he gets the double leg taken. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Looking for the omoplata. Now he throws his leg over the shoulder. This is, could be it. This is getting pretty tight. He might be forced to tap. Not wow. tapping out tonight. This is intense. And he's controlling him here. Oh, Perry gets in the clinch. And now he's got that tight clinch, Joe. Good opportunity to do significant damage here. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clinch. Perry gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally now he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. Condit's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, solid jab. Well, he's got a strong jab. Missed with it there, though, Joe. Third round underway. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. 
showing that punch. He's fainting with the punch. Looking for the high kick. Oh, wow! He is rocked. Oh, big left. Try to establish that jab. Vicious shot to the body. Hurt him with that right. Oh. He tagged him. He's badly, badly hurt. And now starting to snap off that jab. He's got good accuracy oh. on that jab. Oh! He's getting tagged. Hard straight punch. Three minutes now to go in round three. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Double jab there. Oh, oh good catch. Oh, he hurt him. He hurt him. He's in big, big, big trouble. Oh, very nice. Well, looks like Condit's cut is just bleeding like mad. I wouldn't be surprised at this point, Joe, to see the referee call in the doctor. And if he gets a close look at that thing, he's probably going to stop this fight. Oh, nice leg kick. Effective punch there by Condit. Well, he is eternally aggressive, but he paid... Oh, he tagged him with the left. He's got him hurt here. He's in trouble right now. Oh, he might be out. He tagged him again. He's hurt. Oh! Oh, he missed that kick. He's hurt here. 45 seconds remain in the round. That one hurt. Very nice kicks. Didn't quite connect. 20 seconds left. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Great fight. Well, certainly one of the better fights here tonight, and it lives to hear that final horn. Close fight, both fighters had their moments, and they were standing on a napkin at times in the center of that octagon. Both landing significant strikes, one after the next. Let's see who the judges saw as the rightful winner of this one. Round three, we can see the opening, and boom, the kick lands. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest for 9-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the natural born killer, Carlos Condit! All right, so congratulations to the natural born killer, Carlos Condit, on a turn-back-the-clock type performance here tonight. He has certainly battled injuries in the past. Clearly, though, you saw a healthy Condit in this fight, and this will likely go down as one of the more satisfying wins of his storied UFC tenure. Coming up next, it's a UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship fight between Chris Cyborg and Marion Renault. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this championship fight. Will we crown a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion tonight? Let's find out. And she connects there. Is good. Nice jab by Renault. Faints with the punch. 
Oh, she connected flush. Well, she had a pretty good hook shot to the body there, Joe, and now she's gonna have to be careful moving forward. Her opponent has gotten a pretty good read here tonight. She has been vulnerable because she has leaned in. Let's see if she lowers the guard now here to prevent further damage by that hook. Renault gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Nice punch by Cyborg. Really good job of landing that series of punches. Very Ooh. impressive. Big shot there. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Renault. Vicious combinations. And lands a good shot. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Good shots by the champion. There was a nice exchange. One-two punch by Cyborg. She's going back to that patented. Oh, this could be it right here. She might try to finish this fight here. Oh, straight right. Body kick, look at that. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Beautiful big body, body shot. shot there, too. Oh, very nice. That's a big hook. that chin. Good combination. Wow! This could be it! Big, Big body shot, shot. body! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. That's a nice clean shot. Oh, Joe, now this cut is a real factor in this fight. Looks absolutely terrible. Bleeding like crazy. They might stop the fight with that cut, Joe. She missed with that jab. Oh! This could be it. Misses with the left punch there. Effective punch there by Renault. Good combination. Oh! Well, she left the body wide open for the hook shot there, and again, she pays for it. So I'm not sure if there was an injury or if she didn't have a great weight cut, but she is not moving her feet well. She just seems to be stuck in quicksand here tonight. Oh! Wow! This could be it right here. in this division get knocked out by that strike. Near perfect execution. She found a little crack in the defense and found a home for that strike. Landed flush 
And that is another one for the highlight reel, but few prettier than that one as she gets the big knockout win here tonight. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Great angle here. I mean, just stiff. So there she is, folks, a woman who now needs no introduction, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, getting it done by knockout and with major style points here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop this contest at three minutes, 16 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and Done in a major way tonight. Another one for the highlight reel as she defends the belt with a knockout of the number one contender. And it's always nice to see the sportsmanship after the fight, but also nice to see the embrace with coach and pupil and to see the celebration in that corner after a big result like this. It was a long build up to this title fight, a long training camp, but in the end, she gets her hand raised yet again. Congratulations to the undisputed queen of the 135ers.